Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Demetrios the Big Cynical Adventure. When we left off last time, we went to the fun there. I, well as you can see from my coin count, I, I spent a lot of time off screen at the fun fair. I played the pet shoot and the plate shoot until I got the trophies. You don't have to get to 100% um, to get to the trophy. I think it, I didn't notice what it was that I got on plate shoot, but pet shoot I only got 85% and that counted. Like I got a wow and I got the trophy, so I was pretty excited about that. Uh, there was an achievement. I noticed for getting a thousand coins at the funfair, so I just played a whole bunch of horse races. It's fairly inexpensive to play your horse, it's not that hard to win, and even if you don't win, coming in second still gets you 20 coins, winning gets you 40 coins, so with determination, you can get there. I tried my luck on the wheel three times, I got to the 10,000, and then it just kind of dips a little bit past it. So this guy is a cheat. Anyhow, I think we're done with the funfair now. I do want to show up my little fun fair box. Look at that, nice and full. All the trophies, plate shooting. Much more fun than doing the dishes. I should do this at home. That shoot. I've never had so much fun farting. <laughs> we already saw this. The winner is me. Hey, Worm, why are you looking at me like this? You want to go back on the street? Yeah, we're taking the credit, Worm. Deal with it. Hey, partner, let's win some, race, win some races, shall we? And then here's our horse race trophy, which we saw before. Crazy. All right, I did want to look at all our stuff. Police uniform. This totally looks like a real police uniform. If only it wasn't child-sized. Now, what about the secret? Still can't believe that the... Hey, don't listen. It's a secret. Oh, come on, Bjorn, tell us. I can't really understand the message on it. it must be a code language. No, it's just someone else's... Postcard. Although, how do you how do you find cupcakes enclosed in a postcard? Candy. I'm not a kid anymore, so why is it so hard to resist having a lick? Actually, those kind of suckers are the worst because they're too big. You can't fit them properly in your mouth. You can lick them a bit, but then you get you know after a bit you're like, all right, that's enough, done with that. But you can't like set it down and save it for somewhere. I don't know. I'm a complainer. I don't like those. Now, what's going on with this cat head? Who knows? Was this made like that, or was the head ripped from a bigger plush? It looks so upset. Don't really believe in lucky charms, but this can't hurt. A random tail with... We're gonna say that's mud on the bottom, hopefully. Alright. Looks really cheap. More Chinese cre... Hey, how come it says made in France right there? Well the heart plush. This is so cute. It makes me want to puke rainbows. Killer doll. I think this character comes from a preschooler's cartoon show. Quartz watch. The buttons are fake. I can't press them. And the time is wrong. No, but it's high quality. Waterproof. I'll keep it. Jumping bunny. What a ripoff. It doesn't even jump. Broken right out of the box. Well, it looks like it's missing its suction cup on the bottom that you'd need. It just has the spring. Oh wait, that was the mini one, and here's the big one. Right? Click it. I can't click this one. Alright. No, we looked at the candy. We looked at all the stuff. Okay, that's enough messing around. Time to actually accomplish something. First, Got one more cookie to find, and I really love this feature, that it lets you know on each screen how many of the three cookies you found. So we got one more here, and it's on the horse's eye. I thought that eye was strange. That's because it wasn't one. It was a cookie. Alright, there we go. I think we are done at the fun fair. So, let's go back to Hector's house. Alright, how do we put on our police outfit? Let's try it. Oh. I still need proof and a bunch of, well can I put this on at any rate? No, this more needed for our disguise isn't even ready. This is just part of it. Well dang. Hmm. Do we want to bother him anyhow? Oh nope, it's no use talking to me again. I need to be better prepared. Oh, hey. There's a nest with some eggs in, in the tree. Must be magpie eggs. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything we need here. 
So. Maybe we have something in our antique store we can use. Let's try. Oh, hey, a customer. Ah, oh, there you are. Man, you're never in your store. Sorry, it was a little busy. There's been a lot going on lately. Do you usually leave the door wide open when you leave? No, we were broken into. Anyone can walk right in. He's right, I'll have to fix that lock someday. Uh, sooner rather than later, Bjorn, people can just steal your goods. Sorry about that. You here to buy one of the wonderful items, or...? I have a few things to get rid of. Alright, what items? A few things. Look, here's a 12 caliber pistol, which I've only rarely used. Okay, that could be part of our outfit, right? And, uh... Hey, wait! How do you have these? Do you have a gun license? Oh, sorry, I think I left it home. Is that a problem? Well, this is an antique store. We only sell old weapons. You sure? I mean, I can make you a great offer for these. Well, maybe this is an opportunity. I need a gun for my disguise anyway. That seems a little risky to own a gun if you don't have a license for it, you know? And license is required. I don't know the laws in France regarding these things, but it seems like you could get in big trouble. This is a shady deal. I think we're going for it. Alright, I'll buy a gun, but only one. Good. I'm ready to buy it for... Uh... Well, this is what I've got. He's gonna refuse. Free! How about giving it to me for free? What? You're crazy. I'm not giving it away. Well, you said you wanted to get rid of it. I've heard enough. Goodbye, Uncle Scrooge. Wait, I'm sorry. No, don't go. I'll, I'll buy it for... I can give you exactly 25 cents. That's all I have left in my pockets. 25 cents for a gun? It's what I got, sorry. You think this is just some toy made in China? But I can't give you more. I have no money left. Also, let me take a look at it. Maybe it is just some toy made in China, huh? Okay, I get it. I'm out of here. No, no, don't go. Well, maybe we can trade something. I have an idea. Would you trade it for something valuable? Like what? Well, you're in an antique store. It's full of valuable things. Upstairs, I have an amazing masterpiece. How's he gonna get there? It has a 10,000 euro price tag. It's my most valuable piece. Are we tricking this man? Alright, I'll take it. Just a minute, I'll bring it down. Bjorn, we, there's a piano. Um, excuse me? Yes? I might need a little help here. The statue's upstairs, but something is blocking the way. I see. Can you help me move this elsewhere? How did you get that there? Long story. Oh, but we can go- well, he's actually gonna help. Sweet, we can go upstairs now. There. Great, thank you. Now, get that statue, please. I don't have all day. Okay, don't move. I'm gonna let this piano now. Not much of a pianist, eh, Bjorn? Ta ta ta! Beautiful! And I've never had lessons. I would never have guessed. Now, can you please find that statue? You're wasting my time. I really am. Okay, upstairs. Let's see what we got here. Computer. A personal computer from the 80s. It came with a few startup manuals. Oh, there's our yep, quick start manual, volume one, two, soccer, tennis, badminton, and volleyball. We also need to look for some cookies while we're here. It's kind of box. Looks Egyptian, or maybe Aztec. Who cares? There's nothing in it anyway. It's an aquarium? It's weird, but all the fish I put inside disappear after a while. The grid at the bottom must be quicksand. So this is full of dead fish and a cookie. Is that a cookie or fossilized fish? I'll take it either way. Audio cassettes. What, one euro each? Five if it works? Cassettes, what memories. The joy of having the tapes of our favorite tunes ripped apart by our player. Uh-huh. Nice. This pawn was part of a giant chessboard that I've lost. How would you lose something that big? Looks like a vase, but it's not. There's no hole in it. How useful. Is it like a door stop, maybe? That's my aunt when she was pregnant. That's odd, though. She never had a baby. Oh. 
She's just a, a full-figured woman, eh? Valuable statue. This is my most precious statue, but there's a problem. Ah! It's like that cat doesn't want to be bothered. Great, how am I going to get my statue? Hey, kitty. Hey, what's that cat doing there? That's not your cat? I wonder how long it's been here. Oh, it probably wandered in because the door's been open, huh? I painted them myself. Why can't I sell even a single one? No one understands my art. Oh, bargain magazines. Looks like all the magazines with pretty pictures are gone already. Drat. This jar contains the ashes of the Duchess of Carnavali, daughter of writer Peter Carnavali from the... Ten, um... I don't know. I, I, I can get up to like 15 and then I'm pretty much done with Roman numerals. I know it's not that hard, but how interesting. It <laughs> dumps the ashes. There, it'll be perfect for storing stuff. Well, we got us a jar. Nah, I don't think she'll be back haunting me for this. Actually, she's probably thankful to finally be free. And, well, hopefully. Okay, we have more things to check out, but we also need to find some cookies. This could actually be useful. Oh, what, to scat the cat? I'll take it. Oh, no, the wig. Wig, oh. Yep, that'll make a great wig. I was thinking we would, like, poke the cat with the stick to get it out of the way. Not very nice, but it would do the job. The perfect tool for a princess. Or, I mean, for a wife. <laughs> that clock always shows the time upside down, so you have to turn your head to read it properly. Can't turn the clock? I bet this was invented by doctors to give people headaches. Ooh. So... What, it's a flag of a tooth with a cavity? A flag for Toothland, a country filled with dentists. Whoops, looks like I forgot to remove the Made in China sticker. That's better. Or are you going to pretend it's an antique? An authentic Egyptian head at a bargain price. Only 2,500 euros. Uh-huh. You're a bit of a shady dealer there, Bjorn. What do we got here? Jewelry. Valuable collars, watches, to the customers. I buy them at five cents each. From where? That one's a cookie. I don't think this belongs in this collection. A cookie on the outlet? Ah, so that's why I had so many issues with that outlet. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Looks like I can't put my fingers in. Bummer. Okay. So, cat. What a cat like. Maybe. Oh, there we go. A mouse. Here you go. <laughs> Here, PC, play with this. No reaction. That seemed like a good idea, though. Maybe I can improve it. All right. Well, what do we mix it with? Oh, put a, a tail on it. Now that's a great idea. No cat should be able to resist this. There we go. I'll just pull it along and get the cat right out the way. Here you go. Ooh, look at this fizzy. You're interested, huh? Oh, we got some purr in. Come on, grab it. Ouch, not my hand. Well, it worked. Excellent. With the cat gone, it's so much easier. Come back, little pissy. You can return to your special place. So, you found it? I did! Yes, here, take it. What do you think? Is this really worth 10,000 euros? Of course! That's what the price tag says. Considering all the trouble you seem to have getting it, I'll take it. At worst, it'll look great in my bathroom. Here's the gun. <laughs> Authentic gun. This gun is a fake. Isn't it? Good day. Well, that was hard, but I managed to get it. I had to part with my most valuable piece, but it was... Or, what the... This is no gun. This is for children, A plus on the side. And there are a bunch of plastic parts. You needed to look at it before you bought it, Bjorn. Great, I've been fooled. I have a feeling you fooled that guy too, though, so... It's a wash, right? Let's just hope my burglar doesn't notice that. 
All right, well, that was beneficial. Okay, so we've got a wig. We got an outfit and a gun. We need two more things. Do I want any other random thing from here? Maybe, but let's let's take a look at home. Or we could look out around here. <laughs> Won't go down in the sewer, of course. Okay. Tennis ball? Poor tennis ball. Unable to do what it was made for. No, there's nothing really useful about that. Uh, I don't think we need any of the garbage. Way too tiny. Couldn't store anything in it, so we do not need that coffee cup. Let's try going home. Let's also talk to Sandra. Maybe she has something useful. You never know. Hello, mister. Wh who are you? Carolyn. Or, hello. Or Caroline. Is Sandra there? Mom? She's a daughter and we didn't even know? What? Mom, come here. Hello, Bjorn. How are you? I did not know you had a daughter. That... that's your daughter? Of course. Her name's Caroline. But you never told me you had a girl. I didn't? You forgot to mention your daughter. I'm such a scatterbrain sometimes. Oh, tell me about her. What a wonderful little girl you have. She looks a lot like you. Thank you, but appearances can be deceiving. Caroline is an unbearable child. What a thing to say about your own child. She's stubborn and won't listen to anything or anyone. No way, I'd never have guessed it. Like mother, like daughter. How old is she? Caroline? She's eight years old. Really? I thought she was a teenager. She certainly acts like one anyway. If she's already a pest at this age, what's it going to be in a few years? To be honest, the thought scares me. Oh, we can keep asking about her, so let's do. Maybe you just didn't raise her well. I don't think you know us enough to say something like that. Well, you're the one who's talking about what a terrible child she is. You started this conversation, Sandra. Mind your own business. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I hit a sore spot. It's difficult to raise a child alone, you know? Maybe you should find someone to live with. Yes, but who? You? No, of course not. I mean, better stop this conversation. No, let's keep- we can still- I want to see everything that she's got to say. I know a good way to reason with her. Which is... A good kick in the butt should get through to her. You- you can't abuse your child, Bjorn, even if it's tempting. Nope. <laughs> it's not actually tempting to abuse children. We're joking. What? Just try it. I'll call the police. Oh, wait, that was a joke! I really don't get your sense of humor. It wasn't a joke, actually. Okay, that's enough about Caroline. Well, how are you doing, Sandra? Now that you're looking extremely angry. Caroline seems so tall and mature. You must have been young when you had her. Is that an indirect way to get at my age? Guilty. Well, do you tell. How's your job? It's fine. I just wish I hadn't had to move to this big stinking city. Well, you... Don't start that again. What? Comparing country and urban lives. Okay. Personally, I'm more of a country kind of person myself, Bjorn. Some people like the city, great for them. I prefer a rural setting. I was just going to suggest she buy a bunch of manure so she feels at home. Bjorn. There's, there's more to the countryside than manure, okay? Do you have any special passions? Hmm. Well, I love... Petanque? Petanque? I don't know what that is. In my village, everyone loved playing it. But here, no one's interested. Some kind of game? You don't say. Oh, she has a recorder? By any chance. Do you have an audio recorder? Of course, I have a tape recorder. Oh, excellent. These days, everybody has one. I, I don't. Which decade does she think this is? The 80s? Perfect. Would you lend it to me? Why do you want it? Why does it matter? I... you're... 
I'd like to practice for karaoke. Oh, you sing? Rarely. That's why I need to practice. Well, I can lend it to you, but I totally forgot where I put it. I'll look for it, okay? But I kind of need it, like, right away, Sandra. Great. You better. Well, I think that is all that we need here. Gotta go. Say Bjorn before you leave. Here we go again. Yes. But you know, now she wasn't just looking for the cookbook for herself. She just want, she wants to cook meals for herself and her daughter. I'm feeling better that we lent her the cookbook. I mean, not that I felt bad about it anyhow. It's a reasonable thing. Give your neighbor a cookbook, but... I found a recipe in your cookbook that seems really delicious. Unfortunately, I'm missing some of the ingredients, and I was wondering... Alright, what do you need? If I could fetch them for you, right? If it's no bother, of course. Not at all. Yes, it is. Why did I agree? Ugh. Oh, that's so nice of you. It'll be fine, Bjorn. Here's the list. Alright, so we need some mushrooms, eggs, honey, and rum. Well, we got the rum. Baked potato soup. Wait. Mushrooms, butter, flour, potatoes, eggs, honey, rum. Hmm. This is a very good yummy recipe. Making soup has never been easier than this, so beginners will have their guests asking for more. Boil some water and cook the potatoes. Peel potatoes, cut and add. Cut the mushrooms in half and add. Cut a carrot. There's no carrot listed on the ingredients. In tiny pieces and add it. Say a prayer. Put your finger in the soup. Taste it. Do not hesitate to keep a barf bag next to you just in case. Where do all the other all ingredients figure in? Alright. What the? You tore out the page? You gave it to me, didn't you? I did. You treat your cookbooks however you want, Sandra. Well, yeah. What an oaf. I've taken the ingredients I already have. I'm missing the eggs, rum, mushrooms, and honey. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding those, right? Oh, I know where we can get some eggs. Piece of cake. I hope. If you bring them back to me, I'll invite you to dinner this evening. Sure thing. Okay. So, we can do this. What all do we need? So we know the eggs are at Hector's house. Um, mushrooms, we've already got the rum. And honey. Well, let's go to my apartment while we're right here. See if there's anything useful for a disguise in here. Maybe in the closet? <laughs> it does work. I haven't seen a single moth in my clothes since I put it here. My moth isn't going to help. Or an angel isn't going to help for a disguise, though. Um, hmm. I don't think the tie either. I don't know. Maybe I just tighten them too much. Perhaps. Anything else in here? Mm, can't see anything remotely useful here. Nope. Alright. Nothing in the mystery bag. I don't think we need umbrellas. At least the grass is still alive, even if it is all dried up. No, we don't need pompous grass. Okay. I could just click on everything. Not even a scratch. Anti-spirit must be inside, protecting it. Can't see any other explanation. Okay, yeah, I don't think any... Shoes? Nope, I already have the perfect shoes for this weather. Alright. Yeah, I don't think any of this is really gonna help us. Anything in the bathroom? Slippers? Oh no, there's a hole in one! Where will I find the two euros to replace it? Oh hey! Why do I store cat food here? Who knows? Someday a cat might get interested in catching the rats infesting my apartment. How will I feed it after it gets rid of the rats, huh? You know, maybe we could have gotten... Maybe that was an alternate way to take care of the cat, perhaps. Give it some cat food. Or maybe we'll run up against it again. Alright. Need a bag? What's a purse doing in here anyway? The mysteries of alcoholism. <laughs> He's awfully cavalier about that. Handkerchief? I believe text over visuals. So if it says handkerchief, it's a handkerchief, and that's final. I don't think we need any of these. Of course it's not mine. I'm not a woman. Even if I do have hormone fluctuations sometimes. Alright, he's not interested in the blush either. Medicine? Next time I feel sick, I'll take some. Can't think of any other way to find out what this is for. Uh, there's the internet, Bjorn. You could 
Google it or something. Alright, I'm just... This is kind of shots in the dark here, and I don't know that any of these things are actually going to be useful, so... Alright. Let's go get the eggs, because I know that we can do that. And those were Hector's house. Come here, you. Ooh! No matter how hard I try, it's too high to reach. Oh, well... Gotta be away. Mm. Yeah, I don't know that any of these things are gonna help. Anything from the fun fair? Probably not. Well, shoot, there they are, but I don't know how to get to them. Well, let's go back and. Oh, hey! Mushrooms! Am I mistaken, or... Were these mushrooms not there before? Must be the nearby power plant. Helps the mushrooms to grow faster. Sandra, I'm sorry that these are the mushrooms we're giving you. Anyway, they're huge. Sandra will be happy. Unless she asks closely about their origins. Can we get down to the beach? What a beach! Never thought I'd say this, but... Nope, no time to wander the beach. Alright, over to the fishing spot. So we got the rum. How's it going, Tom? Hi, Tom. Hey, stop screaming like that. You'll frighten the fish. All right, uh, well, let's talk about things. Paid Hector a visit. As expected, he didn't seem very friendly, so I didn't try to make him talk. But one thing's for sure, I want to send him to jail. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, aggressor, Hector, prison, all that. And? Give me some time to think. Alright, what about this? You remind me. What am I supposed to do? You forgot already? Maybe you should have your head examined. That wasn't my question. Well, you need to find some proof to charge your attacker. Oh, yes. Okay, I did know that. I was hoping he'd have some thoughts on what else I need for my disguise. Okay. Oh, and he is telling us. Full policeman's outfit. Can you be more precise? I'd say a uniform, oh, a badge, handcuffs. I got handcuffs. A gun? Yes, of course. How will you intimidate him without it? Not sure I like carrying a gun, but okay. Oh, and don't forget a wig, otherwise he might recognize you. Sure, what else? You need some visual proof. A witness, fingerprints, and obviously something to record him when he admits everything. Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, good. See, yeah, thank you, Tom. You were actually very helpful. So, the badge, I'm feeling like I saw a badge somewhere, and I'm not sure where, but, handcuffs. That's right, I need handcuffs for my disguise. These aren't really the right sort, but they'll do. The thought of Hector's hand in these makes me all excited. Um, I mean, <laughs> indeed, Bjorn. Um... No, 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 this is what we need. So. A badge, a badge. Where are we going to find a badge? We could go to the police department. Hmm. Say, I need a fingerprint kit. Do you have one? No, sorry, only inspectors do. You should ask Inspector Cassé. He's not willing to lend me it. Just insist. The inspector always gives up eventually. That's how I got my job here, you know. Oh, indeed. He said I wasn't qualified. I had to ask him at least ten times until he accepted. You don't say. Alright, I'll do it. Mr. Thonin, I hope you're not disturbing me again for no reason. Well, it's not for no reason. Of course not. I just wanted to say... Ah, the phone. Can you hold a minute while I answer this, please? Yes. That's right. Understood. I'm coming immediately. Please excuse me. This is important. No problem. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't touch anything. Of course. Should I take it? Hmm. 
Yes. Maybe I'll end up in jail for this, but I love playing with fire. Off you go, under my pullover. Excellent. Okay, we should probably leave. I have to give him credit. That case is probably more important than mine. Okay, but we also want it. We're hoping for a badge. You know what? Really, I need to just be grateful for what I've got. I'm very sorry for making you wait, but... Oh, don't worry about that. What? What is that thing jutting out of your sweater? Nothing. Uh, well... Show me. Remove your sweater. Hey, this is a violation of my privacy. Though it's quite enjoyable. If only it's scratch a little to the left. But... But... This is my fingerprint kit. You're trying to steal it? No, I was just borrowing. Of course not. It just accidentally fell under my sweater. You're under arrest. Oops. Alright, we won't steal it then. You aren't thrown in charge for stealing police equipment without a big enough pullover. Well, let's get it another way. Okay, will do. Alright, take your phone call. And this time, we will not take it. My mom bought me one like this for Christmas. When I was ten, we should have kept it. Yeah, that would be useful. Okay, what else we got here? I guess having a fan is proof of higher rank. Front desk assistants deserve to boil in the heat. I can't hold my liquor. Okay, I don't sound very credible saying that. Anything else useful here? I don't think we want the pizza box. At least the documents smell good. Oh, here we go. Really sorry for the wait, but... Eh, don't worry about phone again. Yes? Okay, I'll check it out. Well, I have to go off again. I won't be long. I understand. We'll keep waiting. We got all the cookies here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Do we just wait for him? I wonder if I have to hit this to trigger him coming back. Here I am. Alright, so we were talking about... Again? Yes? Really? Alright, I'll come. So I... Gotta go, I get it. Excuse me. I think this phone is ringing just for me. Where's his phone? How do I mess with his phone while he's out? Hmm. It's somewhere I can't see. That's no police uniform, unfortunately. Maybe it's worth checking the pockets. Hmm. What the- Ew, what did I touch? My fingers are all covered with a white sticky goo. It must be melted candy. But, ah, here's a police badge. I wonder, should I take it? Yes. I'll hide it under my pullover. I hope he won't notice. Yes. I think he won't. I'm very sorry for making you wait, but don't worry, that's fine. Alright, so what were we talking about before the call interrupted us? To be honest, I can't remember, so it probably wasn't important. Oh, in that case, I won't hold you up any longer. Alright, bye. No, we want the fingerprint kit. You're sure I can't borrow it? Yes. Not even if you make me sign a discharge or something like that? Not even with a waiver. Don't you have several in the department? Would it be such a problem if I took it? It would be a problem for me. It's my own personal kit. Please? <laughs> I'm begging you. What? I, I want it so much. The kit, my life depends on it. Would you please stop this act? Please, oh, please, 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 please. Please. Come on, get up. This is ridiculous. Alright, alright. If you want it so much, I'll lend it to you for one day. Really? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No kiss, please. Yes! I can't believe that actually worked. Hold on. Yeah? I thought... Nothing. Goodbye. Bye! Oof, that was close. Yeah, don't worry about the badge. We're good. Okay, we've got a lot of the stuff we need. But we still need the recorder, so we got to find ingredients. This is becoming a standard joke. 
Okay. We need... Oh wait, honey, there were bees. That's right, um... Forgot about the bees. How are we gonna get there, honey? Interesting. There must be honey in there. Ouch! I can't put my hand inside. Darn bees. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, smoke is supposed to settle bees down, right? Try it. Wouldn't mind burning the whole thing. But what about the honey? I hate cooked honey. Better burn something else to scare the, beans, the bees away. Oh, like the net? Does that look like a fish? The reeds? <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so upset. Bjorn, what the bloody hell are you doing? Can't you tell I'm burning reeds? Of course I can tell. I just want to know what good that'll do you. It's gonna settle the bees so I can get the honey. Well, I'm trying to get the bees away from the hive. What for? Ah, to get some honey, of course. You know, there are lots of ways to get honey. Alright, tell me one then, smart guy. You can do what you're currently doing. Or, for example, buy it at the store. I don't have money, though. I would, but that thief stole my money. And I don't feel like going to the store. Alright, but you could have started a fire. Well, that was kind of the point. There's water right here, it's fine. No worries, I'm in control. I know the bees are gone. But I don't think I can bring the honey to Sandra with my bare hands. Fortunately, we have an empty jar. Excellent idea. Shouldn't be so hard now that the bees are gone. I've seen my uncle do this a hundred times. Uh-oh. Seems like not all the bees got away. There are little corpses everywhere. Well, it'd be too hard to sort the insects from the hive, so you're going to give her honey with bees in it? I'll just take the whole thing. <laughs> there, 100% natural honey. Smoldering reeds. Sorry, little plants, but I had to sacrifice you. Okay, do we need... I don't think we need the net for anything. Oh, I see. His net has a hole in it. Better not tell him. I hate seeing the poor creatures suffer. They're much better free. Or even better, it's served fried in a restaurant. Yummy. Okay, so we are making some progress here. We gotta figure out how to get those eggs, though. No, I don't want to do fishing. <laughs> I can't access it. There's a big ass sitting on it. Is there anything in the fishing bag? Okay. Let's get out of here. So... I think there's anything we need at the fun fair, right? There was nothing we could pick up here. Maybe if we could ask her daughter to climb the tree. Kids like to climb trees, right? What's up? Um, I mostly was wondering if Caroline would help me climb a tree. So you're going to prepare a soup? Yes, it says it's easy to make, and it seems delicious. Do you really need a recipe to make a soup? Sometimes. Some of us do, Bjorn. No need to be judgy about it. We're not all good cooks. Hmm. Well. Nope, this isn't helping. Bye. Don't forget to find the ingredients for my recipe. I, I am working on it, Sandra. Oh, maybe the golf club. I don't play golf. I had an uncle who did, though. Didn't end well. People have no idea how dangerous that sport can be. We'll just take the club and we can prod the eggs out of the tree. Umbrella? It's not pink or covered with little blue flowers. My conclusion as a detective? It doesn't belong to Sandra. She might not want an overly girly umbrella, Bjorn. Okay, this is not helping. Eggs, what are we going to do for these eggs? we have in our house that would help us get eggs we need something like a, a step stool or something hmm. I don't think any we could stand on the can of paint maybe I should finish painting the room someday Nah, don't worry about it just a regular mirror Okay, I don't think a bag's gonna do it. This apple core. Uh, 
Okay, I don't think this will do. Hmm. Alright, let's look at it some more. Can we climb on anything? Do I look like the kind of guy who'd steal a garden gnome? I mean, look at me. It's way too heavy to carry. Alright, it can stay there. For a second there, I thought I might climb the wire to get some eggs. Then I noticed the wire is like an eighth of an inch thick. Alright, alright. I can't really blame him for not wanting to give it a shot. I don't know, climb on this. Well, looks like the mailman can't read. It clearly says no mail please on the mailbox. We saw that before. Grab the mail. Climb the fence. Hmm. Better avoid standing too close. I might catch some exotic disease. Alright. How are we going to get those eggs, though? Alright, a flashlight is not going to do it. Neither is a fingerprint. Puck some food at it. Let's try. Ouch! Fell back on my head. I have terrible aim. Alright. That was a long shot, anyhow. What about the DVD? Same thing. Maybe if we had... Well, I was going to say, if we have some kind of net. And there is a net, but I don't... That's not the kind... We need, like, a net on a stick? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click the wire. Maybe we can get some of this net. No fish in the net? And Tom keeps making fun of me, saying he's the best fisherman out there. Who's he kidding? Okay, we're gonna try and just cut a little portion of this net. There are already holes in it. Besides, that wouldn't make a good string. No, I don't want it to be a string. I want to make like a, a net on a stick. Fine. Alright. What do you do with this? That's a professional kit? I had one like that in grade school. This doesn't even come with a manual. Good thing I learned back then. Alright. What do we have? Do we have anything here that's useful? We have all this random funfair stuff. I don't think a mini jumping bunny is going to get us the eggs. I don't think I want to. Yeah. Oh, there's more fish. But... Well, maybe if we catch a fish, then we can get time to move some. Hmm. I kind of want to get the big one. We could probably hook this, though. Another fish, and I'm not even fishing for fish. No, I don't think there's anything else in here that we need. Nah. So. Oh, how much I'd love to be on that yacht. I envy those rich folks so much. Until it crashes. A paradise right here before my eyes. But I can't go. Why, oh why? This lake and the beach didn't exist before they built the nuclear plant. And yet people still complain about it. Makes me sick. What's this castle? People in the Middle Ages were so stupid. If they built the castle near the lake, they could have taken a swim every day. Alright, Bjorn. We gotta come up with some kind of plan here. Is there anything else of use? And the Who's this? Caroline, what are you doing here? Hey, I know you! You're Caroline, Sandra's daughter. Yeah, so what? Well, I need some help with eggs, but first tell me about yourself. I talked to your mother. Oh, yeah? She said some nasty things about you. Really? Good thing you told me. I'm gonna have a word with her. I'm sure you're only pretending to be a grown-up. Actually, you're a coward. Bjorn! <laughs> Boy, you have a way with people, buddy. Me, a coward? I'll show you. I love watching horror films. I know how to climb trees. I'm not scared of spiders. You can climb trees. 
And just two days ago, I took a picture of some real thieves. Really? What? Where was that? My doorstep. They were trying to unlock the door in front of my apartment. Yeah, that, that's my door. But that's mine. Oh, so you're the one making all these weird noises we hear sometimes. Like what? That's not the problem. Go on, please. Tell me more. I heard noises, so I checked it out. Mom was sleeping. With my special spy equipment, I was able to sneak out and take a picture without them noticing. That's actually pretty impressive. I shouldn't even tell you that. Mom would scold me if she knew. Those must be my bandits. Show me that picture. Never. Give me that photo. No. Yes, you will. No, and I really don't see why I'd do that. You'll do it because I'm asking you to do it. So you're going to give it to me. Bjorn, this is not the way to reason with this child. No way. Hmm. What if I gave you something in exchange? Like what? Let's see. How about a delicious ice cream? Yuck. What do you mean, yuck? Everybody likes ice cream. Okay, then. How about a stuffed animal? Hmm. Don't know. Maybe. But not just any old rotten teddy bear. Then I'll see what I can find. Well, say about that picture. Where is it? On my X-Phone 9, of course. It's the latest model. It takes pictures with Gigaphenom XDHD resolution. Okay, but how are you going to give me the picture? You can't print it with your phone, can you? Seriously, do you live in this century or what? I'll copy it to your Pico WD card, of course, which I happen to have from the fun fair. Or what's a Pico U U thingy card? so retarded. There are small memory cards you can put in all the smartphones. My phone doesn't have one. What a surprise. But I'm sure it has an antenna, Gramps. Hey, it's working fine. And I can call people. That's what's important. Alright then. So about this stuffed animal. What kind of stuffed animal do you want? No idea. You're the one who suggested this, Gramps. True. But a little help would be appreciated. I would? Yes. Then I won't give you any. It'll be fun seeing you run around everywhere. You little... No swearing or I'll delete the picture. See? Just a touch here and it's gone. Okay, okay. I'll go everywhere. Just don't do it. Alright, well look. I have some stuffed animals, so... Where's my stuffed animal? Let's give her... See, the picture shows this bunny, so probably I should give her the bunny, but instead, how about this cat head? Ooh, what a lovely cat. Actually, it's just a... I love it. Hey, hey! What? D really? I'm gonna pet it all my life until I die. This kid seriously has brain damage or something. I'll take it. Thank you. Splendid. Now show me that picture. Here it is. What? You little brat. What is that? Who are you kidding? You, of course. I think I need to be clearer. You're gonna show me the real picture right now. Why, don't you like this one? You... Okay, okay, don't get mad. Here it is. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Happy? You bet. You certainly took your time, though. So, how are you going to give me that picture? I told you, you need a Pico WD card so I can copy the file onto it. Alright, let me see. Here you go. We happen to have one. Found this. Will it work? Let me see. You must have forgotten your glasses, Gramps. It has Pico WD card 512 gigabytes written on the side. So? Well, me and technology, you know. So it'll work? We'll see. Let's hope it's not one of those counterfeits or I could break my phone. Yeah, that'd be regrettable. So. It's okay. It's kind of slow, but it worked. Awesome. Yeah, we got some proof. Take that, Hector. Now, scram, Grandpa. I need quiet to play Angry Turd. Kids these days. Actually, I need some help from you, Carolyn. Hey, tell me. Your phone can record voice, right? Of course it can. Well, normally. But the microphone on mine is broken. It's so annoying. I can't play that funny game anymore. Poo the talking crap. It repeats everything you say and turns it into cuss words. It was awesome. Obviously. In my world, nothing works as it should. Listen, I need your help. We, get, we don't, don't worry about it, Bjorn. We can still get the recorder from her mom. Say, you told me you know how to climb trees? I do, but I won't do it for you. Ah, oh, come on. There are some eggs in a tree I'd like to get. You want a treat? No, I want the eggs. Oh, the eggs. 
Okay, won't do it. Ugh, what can I do to change your mind? What's your offer? Not again. Hey, that's how life works. Every job needs a reward. All right, what do you want then? Maybe you're not so stupid after all. But you're an annoying brat, that's for sure. So, what would you like? Well, I asked Mom to buy me a tennis ball for my birthday. But she didn't. I only got an X Phone 9. So disappointing. You'd rather have got a tennis ball? Uh, if I had one, I could throw it and break all the neighbor's windows. Then teach those idiots. So we're going to be aiding a delinquent by giving her this ball. I think I understand why she didn't buy you one. Who cares, though, as long as I get the eggs. I'll get you one. Great. Bye. Yeah, yeah. All right. And, yeah, the ball is, like, right here, so this should be super easy. But I'm actually going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time. We'll head over to our ice cream vendor, see if we can find a way. I don't know if we're going to just steal the tennis ball or maybe we can bargain with them. But then we're so close to getting the eggs, which will get us the recorder. Things are moving along nicely.